So there, just so you guys know, give me a few minutes. I'm just going to, uh, when we, when we start the actual podcast, I'm just going to introduce the podcast first and then I'll start talking to you guys. Okay. All right. You guys look beautiful today. Thank you. <laughs> so I want to get to see if I get some of this stuff straight. So let's see, let me get, oh, I gotta get my camera working properly now. I don't know why it's okay. So let's see, you're 12. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Five. Yeah. And it's Ariella. Yes. And Soraya. Yes. Awesome. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to introduce the show and we'll start from there. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me just fix her properly. Sorry. No worries. Okay. You okay? Yes, mommy. All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of This Is Your City. I am Kim, your host. And as you can see, our young guest today, we have two beautiful princesses. Not only are these beautiful princesses, but these are extremely intelligent young girls. My guest today, we have entrepreneur sisters. Yes, we have Soraya, who is 12. Morning, Soraya. Morning. And we have Ariella, who is five. Good morning, Ariella. Good morning. So let's get into this right away because there is a lot of stuff to get through today. When I say entrepreneurs, I mean, you guys are extremely busy young girls. Now, I think I have this right, Sarah, Soraya, sorry. <laughs> okay. Founder of IAH, which we'll get into in a second. And Ariella, you are the founder of Bossery Kids. Do we have that right? Yeah. Yes. All right. So, Ariella, we'll get to you in a second. I want to talk to your sister, Soraya, first. What is IAH? Um, IAH is the ending of my name. It means I'm her, and I created the meaning behind it, which means I'm her beauty, I'm her strong, I'm her unique, and you're a heart too. Wow, that's brilliant. We need so much more of that for young girls today. This world, everything points to, we have to look a certain way, we have to be a certain way, but your message is you are. So I am her, yes. but if you're putting that out to other young girls, it's you are strong, you are beautiful, you are able, right? Yeah. Yes, I love that. And Miss Ariella, you, our founder of Bossery Kids. What is Bossari that? Bossari Kids. Bossari Kids. What is that? It's Bossari Kids is the founder of all kids. And we're also having a kids pop-up shop for all kids there. And kids like me, we also have big glasses and bags and glasses and also jewelry and also bags too. So you're going to have a pop-up, which we're going to get to in a second. You're going to have a pop-up in Toronto. And for my viewers, I will tell you all about that because that is how I discovered these two young ladies and their mother, Chantel. But, you know, five years old. Ariella, so speaking of your mother, at five years old, to found something so massive, obviously your mother had to have a huge hand in this and your sister, Soraya. So you've had a lot of help to help bring your business to everybody else. Would you say so? Yes, I would say so. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So getting on to that, it is a pop-up. It's pop-up shops for young people kid business owners so these kids are anywhere from the age of five and 17 years old and yes tell us a little bit um Soraya we'll get you to tell us a little bit about this pop-up 
Okay, so Young Boston's in Business is a foundation. And um, so basically, we're having a kids pop shop for ages 5 to 17. And they're going to be selling their business. And also, we're going to be selling our business. And there's going to be a lot. There's going to be kid DJs, kid photographers, kid videographers, and a lot of kids. Um, it's going to be kid friendly. And um, it's going to and it's also in Toronto, like you said before, and it's going to be uh, time is the time is going to be it's going to be 11 a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. And they're awesome. going to have a lot of live performances. And yeah. Perfect. Now, when you say they're selling their businesses, you mean they're selling products of their businesses? Yes, correct. Yeah. Right. And so these are all young people like yourselves who who want their product to be noticed because sometimes if we're honest we don't take kids as seriously as we should sometimes we think of entrepreneurs we think of young adults and all the way up we don't typically think of young people such as yourselves and that's so, correct that's why right. i decided that's why we decided to create young bosses in business so that kids can uh showcase their business and that it's not only adults that can be seen but also kids can be seen as well as bosses brilliant now i know ariella's product she mentioned you have sunglasses and purses bags yes that's for her basari kids and yours for i am her is lip gloss yes lip glasses Lip glosses, different flavors. Yeah, and different colors as well. And so yeah. wonderful. And so you'll be selling some of this product. Yes, I'll be selling some of the products at the pop shop. Wonderful. Now, be, besides having your own pop up shop there, being the founder of it, will you be going around speaking to the other children, the other kids who are having their pop ups there? Yes, I will. And so what will that look like when, when you go around? Will you be, will they know who you are? Will you be introducing yourselves as the founders? Well, yes. Well, they should know who I am, but, but yes, I'll obviously introduce myself just to, you know, uh, get a little conversation and to see what they're going to be selling and what their business is about. Right. Get to know them a little bit. Yes. Yeah. It's like a great little community that can, isn't really that little because there's more than we think out there of young, brilliant minds coming up with entrepreneurial ideas. Yeah, that's so true. And not everybody sees it. So this is a good opportunity for uh, kids to showcase their brand. It is. And one thing I really love about this, I was thinking about it yesterday. I was thinking, wow, this is brilliant in more than one way. One of the ways this is so brilliant is as a kid, sometimes we, we have these feelings that we're too young we're not good enough oh I can't do that that's for other people but by you doing this you're showing these kids that they really can do it they really do have the smarts and it's going to give other kids a thought like well why can't I do this yeah that's that's the whole point of them to say you know well before I was thinking I can't do this now I'm thinking yeah I can do this because I seen somebody else do it and they're my age or they're a little bit older than me right exactly and so tell me how you thought about this what happened what was going on in your household when you guys decided to do this well, honestly, um, I've been entered, well, we've been entered into a lot of kids, I mean, a lot of pop shops, but we've looked around and we've seen there was only adults there, like, there was no kids, and then when we, when we seen that we're the only kids, it was like, uh, it's kind of uncomfortable because it's just us, and there's only adults, but then I seen, well, this is a good opportunity for me to take this and to actually, you know, think of it and uh, make a foundation so that I can I can do better. I can make an actual foundation, a pop shop and have series of it where kids can also sell their businesses. And it's not just kids. I mean, not just adults that can be bosses, but also kids like us can also be bosses. Yes. And I think this is going to skyrocket you guys to a great career when you become bigger women. Now you're just, you're beautiful little women, young women. So when you become older, 
this is going to skyrocket you for the doors to open and endless possibilities as strong women in the business world, both of you. And I'm, I'm really you. proud. I don't even know you guys, but I'm very proud of you guys for putting in this work because it's a lot of work. Thank you. We really Thank do appreciate you. it. No problem. But this isn't it. This isn't it. So you're doing up these pop-up shops and, yeah. you know, young boss bosses, that's basically what it is. It's young mm -hmm. bosses, young entrepreneurs. That's not all you guys do. I want, I want our audience to know how magnificent you guys really are. Not that they haven't seen that already, but there's more. Not only that, you also do a few other things in your community, yeah. you're very community oriented, you're very community minded, which is also another rare thing for your age, for both of you. Now, Soraya, you have a back to school project? Uh, yes, a back to school uh, drive. For, explain that to us, what's that about? So basically this is where we're gonna um, get backpacks. And we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be uh, giving them. We're gonna get thirty backpacks, and we're gonna be um, giving them to the community in um, Malton, and to and we're gonna give them back to the community in Malton for kids who don't really have backpacks or can't afford backpacks. And we're gonna be giving them back to them. And do you have sponsors for that? Yes, oh, we're working on those, but uh, we do have a few at the moment. And also, there's going to be like pencils and school supplies too for kids who actually need them. Well, that's good. Thank you for bringing that up, Ariella, because that's what I was going to ask next as well. And and we're going to be and we're going to be talking about it more next week. Next week. Okay, great. But now there's another one. We're not done. There's so much. <laughs> <laughs> you also have something called the holiday drive, I believe. Yes, that's yeah. correct. And tell us about that. So um, the holiday drive is where I teamed up with uh, DJ Charlie B. I mean, I mean okay. That's okay. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. Okay, so the holiday drive is where um, I get food and donations and I do it, I, um, I give them back to the community in Malton and uh, Brampton and Mississauga. And, um, but mostly, but mostly in Malton and um, yeah. So it's, so it's like non-perishable food items? Is that what you mean? Yes. yes. Okay, so like a food and toys, drive and toys and, and toys, toys for too. the kids as well. Okay. Is this for Christmas? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. All right. So you have a food drive and a toy drive to give back to the community for holiday meals. Some people can't have, can't afford a holiday meal or even just food to put in their pantry or toys for their Christmas presents. So you guys go out and you secure product to give back to your community. Yes. That's wonderful. So here's my question, and I'm sure it's a yes, because you can't do what you're doing and not get recognized. So have you been recognized by any other media stations? Have you been on television to promote this? Yeah, we have. <laughs> yeah. Have you been on any of the Toronto television shows yet? Uh, yeah, I've been on um, I've been on CTV and City TV and CP24 and Breakfast Television and uh, City TV more Your Morning. And I've also been in the newspaper, uh, Brampton Guardian and Toronto Star. And I've been on the, I, uh, the CBC uh, radio. Wonderful. So you're a pro at all of this now. Oh, and I've also been on, sorry, the computer, <laughs> but I've also been on, th um, what is it? Uh, uh, it's a radio, uh, Flow 36, um, Flow 30, 39, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So you've been on another radio station. Yeah. That's awesome. Of course you have. That's great. So what do you, what do you feel like you want to do when you grow up? Because I mean, you've got a lot of things going on. So what do you think you're going to do when you grow up? Well, 
um, when I when I grow up, I want to expand my business, and I also want to have my my uh, my items sold in the stores, and also I want to probably do some new things for the community as well. Wonderful. And what about you, Ariella? When I grow up, I want to support my business, and also I want to get people to like my business, just like what's happening now. Of course, yes. And you guys, you know, anything is possible. You can even go into business helping start up other entrepreneurs. Yes. yes. That's a good, that gives back to the community as well. Yeah. That's wonderful. So I know that the pop-up is on August 28th mm-hmm. of this year. You already said it was from 11 to 7. And yes. address is 660 Caledonia Road, Unit 105, York, Ontario. That's so correct. your website, we will have that up on, on the podcast so people can go visit the website. It is a free event. However, you're suggesting that people register so, just so you can see how many people attend. Yes. And that helps for future, future attendees as well. I get that totally. A free event bring cash so that you can purchase items from different vendors because people like you said will be selling their product such as yourselves yes yes that's wonderful thank you so much for what you do and this is something I'm gonna and I'm sure your mom tells you all the time but when you do these things you're gonna get a lot of attention because you're brilliant young ladies so make sure you stay humble Make sure you continue to think of your community above all. And that's what you're doing right now. And that's wonderful. And I'm so proud of you guys. And your community is only going to be better because of you too. And I'm sure your mom and dad are extremely busy with their own things, yet helping their two daughters become all they can be. So shout out to your mom and dad as well for all the hard work they do for you guys. Because again, you're five and 12. You can't do this on your own. So make sure you're good to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Is there anything you want to add to that that I might have missed? I want to I want to get your businesses out there for you guys. Um, actually, I want to say something. Um, so since I'm turning 13 in October, I am going to be coming up with coming out, sorry, <laughs> with some new items some new lip glosses. Um, also, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Uh, some lip liners, eyeshadows, so like, just keep that on the low. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm turning 13. I'm going to be coming out with some new things. And uh, make sure you guys, make sure you stay tuned to see what I'm going to be coming out with. Yes, definitely. Yes, Ariella. And also, since I'm turning six, I also want to be going to, like, big pop-up shops and also giving kids all, like, all of my stuff because we're also coming out with some new bags and glasses and also, like, big glasses and also, like, bags that have hearts and all these kind of bags and glasses. Um, yes. And we're going to also be going with jewelry too, bracelets, necklaces, like headbands, all these kind of jewelry. And so we could all get the businesses together and we can all make a business and we can make another pop-up shop. Perfect. And I hope you're going to be selling headbands like the one you have on now because that's beautiful. Thank you. (laughs) Now, I also thought, I mean, this could be in the works already. So just smile if it is. Maybe a perfume, Young Boss perfume. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being a guest on the the podcast today. This is your city. We're going to get this out there so people can register come and see you. It's a free event. Support the young people out there. We need more support for our young minds. We say it all the time that our future belongs to the youth. And so if our future belongs to them, we must support them. 
We must support them to make this a better world. We have two young ladies right in front of us right now who are doing what they can to make the world a better place. So please come out and support them. You can go on their website. I'm going to have that all up there. Young Bosses in Business. What a beautiful name. Thank, Thank you, Lou. You. <laughs> and I will see you. No, I won't see you on the 28th because I'm going to be away. That's not good. But there'll be another one. There'll be another one. <laughs> Because I was hoping to see you. That was why I'm like, oh, well, just be on the podcast then. So I can at least get it out there since I can't be there in person. Yes. So we will have some people out there, though, and they'll tell us all about it. So have a great day. Continue doing great things. And anything I can do to help you guys succeed, I don't know what that is, whether it's this small or this big, whatever I can do to help you, I want to help you succeed. So let me know. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. And for my listeners, Make sure you continue to watch. No matter what you do, send a letter, send a text, send a tweet, send an email, send a pigeon. Whatever you do, make sure you tell everyone they should be watching. This is your city. Stay safe and stay blessed. Ciao. There. Awesome. <laughs> thank you so much for having me you're so welcome thank you for coming on the show <laughs> and we'll uh we'll get back to you guys i'll go on some of your instagram pages to get some of the pictures to put on the podcast so that they can okay. see some product and uh have that and then i'll send it to you guys so you can see it thank you thank you awesome. so much no problem and we will our crew will be out there to see you on the 28th Okay, that's amazing. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, and for the bracelets, you got to make sure you let me know where to send them. We'll send an email right now, actually. <laughs> All right. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.